five. So just to remind everybody, Combo Fiend is coming from loser's bracket. Yeah. Needs to win two sets of three out of five right. in order to take this over Seth. Seth only needs to win the one set. Essentially has to be knocked to loser's bracket and then eliminated like everybody else. Mm -hmm. All right, so Combo Fiend got a long road ahead of him. He does, he definitely does. But, you know, as, as we've seen him play today, I feel like he's been figuring some things out. I've really liked his movement with Julia, his entrances with Marduk, using the fear, you know, the, the jump fierce. I've uh, been really solid, catching people with his crouching short even into boost chain. He's been doing a lot of good stuff. He seemed, uh, you know, fairly confident when I talked with him yesterday. I haven't talked with him today about how, how he thinks he's going to do, but he seemed combo? like... Yeah, Combo Fiend, yeah. He seemed like he was, uh, he was pretty intent on taking this thing. Like I said, when he went down to Brazil, he talked about it a lot with Game Ruby and Tokido, two people who've been taking the game seriously, too. And uh, he's been playing this game a lot more. You know, we, you talked with Ryan Hunter, you said, about Combo Fiend. And Ryan Hunter said Combo Fiend's really leveled up since Evo. Yeah, he... Ryan, where he got top four anyway. Right. Like, Ryan wow. Hunter actually said when he came here, he, he wasn't expecting Combo Fiend to do very well based on that Evo performance. Right. Like we said, the amount of practice that he's put into this game now. Oh, Ooh. wow. They, you know, he saw that Julia was just staring at him there. Yeah, I mean, Combo Fiend did, did make top four, so it's not like he did horribly at Evo. He was, he did really well. It's just that once he got into, into top four, he got, you know, it, well, the exact, just blown up the exact by a laugh quote invitation. that I got from Ryan Hunter, he said that Combo Fiend basically said, after Mike Ross carried them at Evo, okay. he felt like he needed to step up. Okay. Oh, no switch cancel off of that uppercut. Very surprising. Because Julia took a big amount of damage. And here comes the bear. Ooh, wow. That was cool. And that really worked out in Seth's favor. Taking the first round. Using the invincibility of the paw to get through. Again, Combo Fiend trying to stare. He definitely has better normals than, than Law does. Oh, wow. Just chase him down with that lunge punch. And then through the seams, found that little hole in the block strings. Caught him with the EX move. Combo Fiend just harassing there. Oh, he had the crouching short, but you know, hard to verify. Oh, didn't expect the follow-up. And Law going back. And he's played some good patience. Good patient defense has Seth. Finally found an opportunity now. Is he gonna go into bear? Nope, not gonna bother. Ooh! Oh really? Wow, how did he get hit there? This is a huge moment for Seth. But the biggest problem. Oh see, I don't know how the damage scaling works. If it doubles in those situations or if it just stays at one level, but it doesn't matter. Marduk is almost dead, and there he goes. Set with a, another dominating game over Combo Fiend. Combo Fiend has yeah. not been able to fight him. And and a lot of that was was just Law doing great. It was him punishing the the cross assault, which is a zero frame thing you can block. I'm not sure what Combo Fiend was doing, but it essentially negated the, the benefits, the gains out of that cross assault. Not guess the roll properly. I like that Law is staying outside of that jump fierce range for Marduk. He expects the jump there. Oh, he's gonna build up the super! I love this. This is so cool. Free super. Yeah. Cost no meter to get that. That's right, you just charge it up. Oh, got him out of the air. Counter hit two. Now, what are his gems? I'd be really, really interested to know like, when his damage activates because they've. They've activated at a weird times. Okay, finally hits. Oh, got the grab, and it's the command grab. Even Seth takes with, the round. With the power gem activated, gonna do a little extra damage. Again, this is three out of five, so Seth has taken the first game, potentially trying to go up 2-0 against Combo Fiend now. Okay, oh, it's a cross up, but reset in the command grab for not really much damage. Would've done a lot more if he had been able to see it but hard to, hard to verify, of course. Got him, that's easier to verify. Chasing Law down. Oh, see, so he was waiting for that EX move from Law. Makes it safe. Backing away to a range where he knew that he'd be able to contain Marduk. Still, oh! Crouching short into business. 
Oh, wow. Oh, couldn't keep it up. Oh, wow. Was that designed to chase down the back dash? Not sure. It did, but he wasn't able to finish the combo afterwards. And using that far range low forward after that neutral jump, Roundhouse giving Combo Fiend the good damage combo. Hunting stance. Oh, no, anti air. There it is. Oh, got him. Poor Strong going so far. Combo Fiend, though, was still. A significant life lead, and that's wow. not going to work. Wow, how about that? Julia just going to take a huge chunk of damage. Get it again. Oh, couldn't, didn't get the juggle. And just tashing up there. Not even scared of her tremendous footsie normals. Oh, interesting. That was definitely would have whiffed if there, if there had been no button from Seth, but Combo Fiend knew it was going to come. All right, there we go. Combo Fiend winning his first round in yeah, not this a grand out. finals. See if Combo Fiend can make the proper adjustments necessary. Okay, nice. Combo Fiend expected Seth to try to still run in. And now Marduk with the opportunity just does not guess right. Seth staying patient. Oh, here it is though. It's good range and it's the fastest command grab, but not that much damage. Oh, Combo the trade! Nice. Normal throw. Yeah, hunting stand still. I like that stand roundhouse to deal with that. That's cool. So far, and again, Kuma not being able to block. It's a cool option. Combo Fiend figuring things out, trying things out, finding what's working. Wow, that hunting stand still. And you saw that jump fierce from Marduk. We talked about how beefy it was, and it keeps missing the bear's head. The bear's oh, head is not there. Hit. It's a ghost head. Oh, oh, great yeah. whiff punish. This could be about it. He's got three bars. He's going to use them all. And that is going to be second game here for KS Corn Seth. He's one game away from taking this whole tournament, winning Boku to dollars. Combo Feet's not happy with that. Oh, here comes Justin. <laughs> to give him a little bit of coaching. I wonder what they're talking about right now. Nobody needs to coach KS Corn Seth. He is looking good. You know, I, I made the joke at, at NCR because I honestly didn't think it would ever happen. Uh -huh. But if Kuma wins this, we could say he won an Ursa Major, right? So oh my god, I love it. <laughs> That's the best pun. That's the best pun. I'd really love to see this happen. I mean, characters that you were just not expecting. Yeah, I, I haven't thought that uh, that Kuma's bad. I, you know, when the game was new. Uh, Ed Ma was playing Bear. Right. Just so that he could see the win animation with Will Dance. That's the only reason. But, I, you know, so as a result, I got to play a lot actually against Kuma. And I didn't think he was a bad character at all. I thought he was pretty good. And, and Corn Seth is making that look uh, like an accurate statement. I really like what he's doing with this character. Very cautious early game. Look at the defense being played right now by Cabo I wonder if that's what Justin told him. Just play more safe. Maybe go for some more throws. Not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it'd be interesting to know. And a backdash from Julia. So good, but just chased down right there by Seth. Good stuff. Oh, wow. Just guess the grab. And oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Not sure why he did that. It's too early. And oh, yeah. smart, smart option stuff. right there. Yeah. He's going to be able to continue some damage after that. He even brings in Kuma. It's not going to be a ton of damage. Ooh! Okay. You can keep it up. And where's the where's the damage gem? Not quite there yet. Yeah, look at that. Marduk just lost so much life in that situation. And that was a whiff on the command grab. I'm not sure whether Combo can recognize that in time. Ouch! Oh, nice anti. Air there didn't quite get the proper juggle off of it. And Combo Fee knows if he switches into Julia right now, it's going to be punished for her. So, oh, and he couldn't block and he didn't hit her out of it. So, that's going to be it. And it's he a gets a super. super, yeah. And runs out a good chunk of that damage gem there, too. So, he's got to kill Kuma here. Kuma has no meter. Look at the time four seconds on the clock. Kuma trying to get out of there because he knows all he has to do is survive. That's what he does. Yeah. And he's one round away now. KS Corn Seth coming here from Michigan. Trying to take the whole thing. Combo's the trade. So nice. 
so smart. Okay, nice normal throw. Oh, okay. got picked up. Kamalfin trying to stay alive in this. Has to win this, but he's still got so many, so much road ahead of him. This has got to seem super discouraging. Yep. Scary. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know he can come at you anytime. You know that he has the anti-air as well. Yeah. And Kamalfin looks like he's just not sure how to play this. Seth is doing exactly what he needs to do right here. Okay, he's he's playing that so well. But that finally gets in there thanks to Julia's super long range low forward kick. Getting good damage. Oh, and the ambiguous. Oh, he could have ended the round and he doesn't. Yeah. There it is though. Kamalfin still trying to come back. Wow. So. One round at a time. One round at a time. You play every round. You're it. Ooh. Why you? <laughs> Did you hear a little exchange there? Yeah. You're it. Why you? Oh, I, she, I thought she oh. could punish that. Maybe not. Oh, wow. That was so ambiguous. That jumping forward. Wow. He's really looking for that, that uh, Fist of Fury. Oh, and then he got Marduk out of the air, and now he chased down the back dash. Look at that red. Look at all the damage it's taking. Good block. Good Pretty block. safe series. Back yeah, just, into the hunting stance. Yeah. There it is, the oh, jab. What a good reaction. Got him right out of the air. And then, again, with that ambiguous jump attack. So he's going to get some decent damage here. Oh, wow. Going into the super is going to basically cause a lot of unrecoverable damage. Right. What a great block from Peter. And going right back into Marduk. Oh, good chase down, and that's going to do it. And Combo Fiend staves off defeat. He has now taken it to 2-1. to one. And look, time for more advice. This time coming from KS Ramos. And Ramos apparently telling Seth to stop doing something. And Seth... You could hear him, he was like, all right, all right, I'll stop, I'll stop. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know if the, the people can actually hear. I, we can hear a little bit of the players. There's like a mic close to the stage. Like, right, yeah, it's an interesting button, phenomenon. You can hear him pretty well. We can hear button presses and such like that. I don't know if the people at home can hear the same thing that we're hearing. But I, I'm not sure, but I, you know, I, I hope that they can because there's some interesting stuff going up on yeah, the stage. Yeah, for sure. Almost got him at the end of that round, man. Yeah. Seth was basically right there at championship. Okay, cool. Yeah, they, people do hear what's going on on stage. That, that's cool. Let's see if that was the big Ooh, turnaround. What? That might have just... I mean, I really want to know what the heck Justin Wong told Combo Fiend right now. Whatever it was, it's really helping him get... Got him. Oh, he drops that. Ooh. Opening him up low. Now Law, without much life, is in. So this is a dangerous situation for Seth to be in, but he found the opening anyway, and can go back to Bear for a ton of damage because of the damage gem. Nice, there's the wow. command grab. He's now, gone to that just, you know, rarely enough that you don't really think about it that much. Wow! It's a direct hard tag offering Julia up to the Bears. I like that each of his damage gems seems to have a different uh, activation. And again, I'm not sure what they are. It's hard to tell. Oh, that's the invincibility through this complete harassment from wow. the bear. Slapping around, clawing around, getting Seth to tournament game, tournament point. Well, yeah, what a sequence there. And making sure that each of the damage gems is activated by something differently. So he has, you know, the, the damage gem available to him a lot. Oh, wow. he tried to save Julia, was unable to do so. Charging up, he has counter hit available now. If he presses a button, he loses it. So he doesn't press a button at all. And Combo Combo Fiend recognized it, yeah. that. But he still has it, I think. Yeah, he got the counter hit on that. The whole entire time, it was still stored. Didn't really get anything off of it except the extra damage, and he says... He's bringing this out more now. Yeah, he says, I'm going to use my own command throw. Oh, and a neutral jump from Combo Fiend to punish. Oh, wow, what a great setup. And 
he is doing a lot more neutral jumps. Mm -hmm. Combo Fiend is doing a ton of neutral jumps, and he has been able to punish so much stuff from those neutral jumps. That seems like a, like something that the bear can't really deal with that well, especially at that range. Yeah, and so you see Seth kind of going up into the air to meet him because he, his anti-air looks like it doesn't really work that well there. Can't get command grab there, and, and couldn't that's get it. out of the hunting stance quick enough. And so Combo Fiend once again barely staving off the end of this tournament. Oh, do you see Combo Fiend? He rolled his eyes to the side and just looked at Seth. Oh, yeah? Like he was like, hmm. Wanted to gauge his mood. Wanted to see if he was getting a little nervous. Oh, good stuff there. Combo Fiend getting the combo. No alpha counter there. Yep. Definite alpha counter bait, but he didn't want to spend the bar on it. Nice. Picks up Combo Fiend. Gets good damage on Julia. This is so important. There's the hunting stance. Coming in for the hit and run. Oh, and charging up a little bit. There it is. This oh, time it yeah. works. He was waiting for that jump that time. Oh, low forward just missed. Hunting stance so good. <laughs> oh, just swiping around and he. Okay, not that he time. He didn't get the anti air. Yeah, he was in the middle of the jab, so I think he just couldn't quite get it out. All right, so Combo Fiend getting some damage on the bear. Got Went out of hunting stance almost immediately. A great read from Combo Fiend to get that throw. Trying so hard just to make sure. Okay. Ooh. Didn't jumping. have the range. Yeah. And good combo here from Seth. Going to get some decent damage on Marduk. Actually, that wasn't much damage at all. No, it wasn't. But he didn't want to bring Bear in, who had still some regenerable life. Yeah, that could have been a, a case of the defense gems and the life recovery gem. That Marduk just did not take any damage on that. Oh, here we go. And there's Oh, the thank you, CPU. That was some lucky stuff right there. And great blocking from Corn Seth. This is going to get close to closing it out right here. The time. Look at the time. He's wasting some of it. He's trying to get away. And there it is. KS Corn Seth comes here from Michigan and takes the tournament. And he will win the $2,500 as well as the trip to San Francisco. Combo Fiend takes the $1,500 and the, and the Look trip. at his shirt. His shirt says his name on it. Oh, my gosh. Corn wow. Seth level. And they That's are awesome. both going to be flying to San Francisco to compete for the grand prize and for the car. It's a lot on the line. They yep. both made it, as James said, but congrats to Seth for taking it today. And for all those people out there, who are looking forward to buffs for the Tekken characters. That was a top four that was an entirely Tekken cast. Oh, you're right. It was Law, 